Prince George RCMP are assuring the public they are not at risk after a series of violent events over the past week. In each case, police say the incident was targeted. Still, there are ways the public can protect themselves and assist the police in their investigations. It's been a busy week for violent crime in Prince George. On December 27th, a woman was stabbed in a residence in the 700 block of Ruggles Street. December 30th, a home invasion occurred in the 400 block of Ogilvie. Then New Year's Day, another home invasion, this time in the 1700 block of Tamarack, resulting in the stabbing of one man. In all three incidents, police say the public is not at risk. Each one of these cases were targeted cases where, where the people we believe were known to each other and uh, not a situation where um, where it was random and where the public would be at risk. If it turns out that there's a connection between the perpetrator and the victim, then they say, okay, these two had an issue of some sort or there's some direct reason for doing it, the public isn't at risk. It's the people who are into that lifestyle that are at risk. So they conclude that it's a targeted attack and it's not one that we should be concerned about. While the public isn't considered at an increased risk, they can play a role in prevention and investigation. Signs like these are meant to show a bond in the community against crime, with residents taking a proactive role in reporting anything suspicious. This goes back to knowing who really belongs in your neighborhood, um, becoming familiar with your neighbors. You don't need to become best friends, but if it really doesn't seem right, we would rather that you call that into the police than to sit back and think that maybe it's it's okay and someone else is dealing with the issue. Individual homeowners can take precautions to improve their own safety as well as the safety of their surroundings. We also have a home security assessment team and that's a free service that we offer here at Community Policing, not only to residents or you may be a renter, but also to businesses. We will send a team out and offer some common sense advice on how to better secure home and property. While taking your own safety into consideration is important, police are emphasizing that these incidents were targeted attacks, as were most of the crimes in the past year. The majority are, as I said, addictions related um, offenses that you know, people involved in the drug trade or, or that type of uh, environment, or they know people that are involved in those uh, situations. But the trouble is, as you're dealing with people who are often high on drugs, they, they don't know what they're doing. They think it's a good idea. Two or three of them get together and say, let's go and do this particular crime. And you hope that they're choosing a target which is within their realm and not outside of it. But Tyndall says in rare cases, targeted attacks can become dangerous to others if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.